Hi there, initiates. Everybody loves cat videos, so it's about time for me to make a cat video of my own. That video is of course about Milla the cat. Oh, don't forget to put subtitles on. There's gonna be some Finnish speaking with English translations. You guys have occasionally seen Milla in the Harvester show. She's a perfect cat for the show, because she's a real-life serial killer. As a young cat, she lived mostly outdoors, and no mouse or a squirrel was safe from her. All the animals in the neighborhood feared her. And some people. I'm sure you guys know the warning label on the back cover of the US version. That label should have been added to Milla too. By the way, why does it warn about blood twice? That makes no sense. Was Harvester considered so violent that they doubled the warning about blood? Then why do they warn about the gore only once? That's an important question. Anyway, let's take a look at Milla's appearances in the Harvester show. That's also a great opportunity to show you guys some raw footage from the past. When I was shooting the first episode, Milla jumped on the couch with me and I was happily surprised by that. But after the shooting I watched the footage and realized I couldn't use it. Listen to the audio and you realize why. Michael Napodano recently sent me a package. I knew there was a package coming, package coming. <laughs> but I wasn't sure about the contents of it. So I bought a separate microphone, not this one, and shot the first episode again. And again Mila joined me. Because if you like this one, then I'll make more. When I launched the show, I knew nothing about making videos. For example, I had no clue how to be in front of the camera. When I watched the footage of the second shooting, I wasn't pleased with my performance, so I shot the episode third time, and again Milla joined me. Yep, taas mennä. Toivottavasti tää on sitten viimeinen kerta. Roxanne Loveset did another role too, and it's even more disturbing. But for some reason it's not mentioned in the credits. Finally I thought the footage was good enough, so I edited it and released the first episode of the Harvester show. After that it was time to shoot the second episode. In the last episode we went through women. Hetkinen. Nyt on joku pielessä. I have no idea what file I was talking about there, but the point is that this time Milla didn't join me. Same thing happened when I was shooting the third episode. Don't ask. When I was shooting the fourth episode, Milla decided to join me again. Building where Harvester was born. Yeah, right. She also joined me many times when I was shooting the fifth episode. For example, she ruined my conversation with Mr. Pastorelli. Because you are not Godfather, you are a barber who gets boom. In the sixth episode, she didn't join me on the couch, but you can still see her. Take a look at the back of the monitor. There you can see Milla's reflection. And you decided to revamp, and you decided to revamp an existing game. And you decided to revamp an existing game. Yeah, I had to read all the lines many times to make it work. This line too. When I started to shoot the seventh episode, Milla was already there on the couch waiting for me. Mm. 
Now I have to tell you guys something sad. I've been talking about Milla like she's still with us, but she's not. Unfortunately, she got brain tumor and she passed away in August. She was already 17 years old. This is the last photo of her. Here I'm holding her paw after the vet gave her the last injection. There you can see tear in her eye. When I was shooting the 8th episode of the Harvester show, Milla joined me for the last time in the history of the show. It's not so different from the screen we just saw. Here's the early design of the fire station front. It's not so different from the screen we just saw. Yeah, the microphone was dying. You are now watching the 12th episode of the Harvester show. And this is a tribute to Milla. She deserved her own episode. Now it's time to end this video. What was that? It's Milla's ghost. She's back from the dead. I'm happy to see you too. How are you doing? So you are ruling in hell these days. That's my cat. I'm so proud of you. Oh, you have to go already. Well, tell my regards to Satan. Milla had a long and awesome life, and she continues living in my memories. Maybe in yours too.